The sport of wrestling is probably the most important athletic event to Persian people, except for soccer and the World Cup. Wrestling is also a really important part of MMA. Persians have broken into the MMA scene, and some of the best fighters in the world, pound for pound, are from Iran. We're going to be looking at the top five Persian MMA fighters in the world today. Coming in at number five, we have Amir Ali Akbari. He grew up in Tehran. He's a decorated Greco-Roman wrestler, competed with Team Meli. He had some doping allegations that caused his gold medal to be revoked at the World Championships of Wrestling. Amir had early success in the Ryzen, but he's recently had back-to-back -back losses in the one championship. Amir comes in at number five because he holds a decent record at 10-3, and three, but he hasn't necessarily fought the highest level of competition in the world. Coming in at number four, we have Rezo Mad Dog Mad Daddy. Rezo has a record of 14-6. and six. He was born in Tehran, but he now lives in Sweden. He's involved with the Alexander Gustafsson and Hamza Chimaev camp. Reza has a W against Michael Johnson, who's one of the biggest fighters in the UFC lightweight division in the last 10 years. Reza has a really fun style to watch. He's aggressive. He's in guy's face. If you want to look back at some of his old fights, you'll have a lot of fun. Coming in at number three, we have Kamal Sholarus. He has a record of 9-5, and five, and he was nicknamed the Prince of Persia. He was born in the Kalkhal Ardabil province of Iran. Kamal has fights against Jim Miller, Habib Nurmagomedov, Shinya Aoki, and Rafael Dos Anjos. Sholarus is an accomplished grappler. He's considered a high-level jiu-jitsu and wrestling fighter. Yeah. Number two, we have Benyel Daryush with a record of 21 and 4. Daryush grew up in a farm in Urmia, Iran, and he moved to America when he was about 9 years old. Training Brazilian jiu-jitsu at 18 years old and earned his black belt in 5 years. Daryush made his debut in 2014 and won by submission. And today, Benyel is one of the top contenders in the lightweight division and he's on a 7-fight win streak. He has wins against Tony Ferguson, Michael Johnson, Jim Miller, James Vick, and more. Coming in at number one, we have Gegard Mousasi with a record of 49 and 8. Now, Gegard was born in Tehran during the Iran-Iraq war, but there's actually some controversy behind Gegard being on this list. Gegard's family changed their last name from Mofsesian to Mousasi before Gegard's birth. There's not a lot of information out there about this, why Gegard seems to associate more with his Armenian roots than his Persian roots, I guess we'll just have to live with him being on this list. So during the Iran-Iraq War, Gegard and his family migrated from a refugee camp to the Netherlands. At the age of eight, he started training judo, and by his teenage years, he started taking up boxing. Eventually began training kickboxing to transition to MMA. In 2008, he won the Dream Middleweight Grand Prix. He won the Strike Force Light Heavyweight Championship in 2009. And by 2013, he was signed with the UFC. Gegard has a lot of impressive victories in UFC and Bellator. But I think some of the most impressive names he's got on his list are like Rory McDonald, guys like Lyoto Machida, Douglas Lima, Thiago Santos, Chris Weidman. And the list goes on, man. This guy's one of the most impressive mixed martial arts fighters I think we've seen in this generation. And I'm proud to say he was born in Tehran. Growing up Persian, my dad drilled into my head that wrestling was important, and I started wrestling in high school, and that led me to start training martial arts. Later on, I started training jiu-jitsu, turned into uh, a love for Muay Thai and kickboxing. Not to say that I'm on the level of Reza Madadi or dream to ever be on the level of Gegard Mousasi as a fighter, but it's something that I really enjoy doing. It's just something that makes me happy. I, I really encourage everybody to go out there and find something that, something that you love and something that you can aspire to do. This video is free. Please take a little bit of time out of your day to hit that subscribe button, like, comment. I mean, the view means a lot already that you sat through this whole thing and I appreciate that. But if you could do me a little bit more, maybe drop a like, that'd be huge. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching.